In a few days time, Star Citizen will be showcasing game technology and offering a free fly for all ships in game, which is widely expected to increase the number of players at any given time. With that comes the side effects, notably the greater strain on the servers, as well as potentially wider exposure to some of the bugs in game. I'm Farrister. And in this video, we'll talk a little about that, and most importantly, why you shouldn't let that spoil your fun. If you've seen videos here before, you'll know I'm quite keen to point out that Star Citizen is in alpha testing. Although each patch adds more and more to the game, and by the way, given the hours I enjoy with friends in Star Citizen, I do feel that this is a playable game, the more hours you rack up, you'll often encounter bugs and glitches, some of which reoccur, and some of which are new to you. And I start with this because it's important to have this mindset. Alpha means a testing build, and accordingly, as well as playing an enjoyable game, we're also testing. That's why in my new player guide, one of the sections I talk about to prospective players is how to log these bugs in the issue council, to help the fine folks working on the game to fix them. But going in with a mindset of accepting that things may go wrong will help to manage your own expectations. This is particularly relevant to one of the most common complaints about the game right now, which is the infamous 30k server disconnects. They're particularly dangerous for cargo runners, who could lose a considerable amount of sunk investment in in-game currency. And that's understandable, and also why it's really important to understand that risk at the outset. Without wading too far into encouraging everybody to have a positive attitude, expectations, and live in harmony, etc, etc, attributing the risk of a 30k along with the other risks you might expect in a completed game, such as pirates, or maybe your power goes out, will help you to manage your own expectations. As far as other bugs go, sometimes they can be funny. Recently, testing the docking mechanics, my P-52 Merlin wanted nothing more than to dock with another P-52 Merlin, or those many instances where NPCs insist on standing on chairs, or that moment your character ends up sat down with arms backwards. All of those moments, especially when playing with friends, can actually be really fun moments if you're in the right frame of mind for it. And that's not to belittle the frustrations that often happen when things don't go according to plan and out of our hands. But ahead of the free fly event, I thought it was really important to set expectations and hopefully encourage everyone to have a good time during Invictus Week. Let me know in the comments if you agree, or if you'd rather I stick to the more regularly scheduled content. Otherwise, as always, thank you for watching.